Hi guys, and welcome to your Total Body Blast workout on the Cardio Gym. So this is a 30 minute workout geared at hitting all of the major muscle groups in the body. So we're focusing on our strength training, we're focusing on cardio training by using the element of cycling, and we're also focusing on getting a nice shape and overall tone for the body. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna need you to do is set your bike up in the right position. The easiest way to do this is to take a seat, pop your feet into the pedals, and then try a couple of turns as you cycle. Now, as your foot pushes away, your heel should be facing down, and there should still be a slight bend in your knee as your leg is pushed out as far as it's gonna go. That way you've still got the power to push through as you pedal. Your hips are sat back into the saddle, and you're using your back, pressing against the back support, and your body's up nice and tall. And that's us in a good place to begin. All right, so grab your handles and select a nice light weight. We've got three minutes here on the bike just to get us warmed up. So let's start pedaling and let's start out with the check fly. So we're just gonna bring the hands in and open out nice and wide. So our mission in the warm up is to warm ourselves up, to get the blood flowing, the heart starting to beat a little faster and to get movement and life back into the body. So bring the hands in and open out nice and wide. All right, let's take this one into a press now. So take the palms facing down, elbows come back, and the hands squeeze it in front and come out nice and wide. We're just gonna go through lots of different exercises, getting us ready for the workout. So push forwards. Remember, we're pressing through with our feet, heels are facing down, and we're getting the pedals moving as we start the workout. Good, so pressing in, pull back. All right, let's take this into the tricep extension. So we've got about 30 seconds in each exercise, just getting us moving. Now the elbows squeeze in, wrists are strong. We push away and we pull back with control. Good. All right, about 10 more seconds here. Just keeping us moving. Squeeze those elbows in. Sit up nice and tall, chin away from your chest. All right, we're gonna take the arms out long. Let's go into the pullover. So we come up and come in. So we mobilize and we work through the shoulders, getting the body ready for the strength training rounds ahead of us. I've got a beautiful little shoulder section for you today. So let's get them moving, let's get them open, and let's get them ready. Heels push down, good. Open up and draw it in. All right, about another Couple seconds here. All right, let's bring this into the crunch. Tuck your elbows in, and let's just bring the elbows towards the hips. Hands in front of your shoulders. Squeeze in, open up. So think about tucking in. Squeeze down like a little ball, and then open out. This is your crunch. So we're just getting the front of the body and the abs warmer as well. Good. All right, five more seconds here. We're gonna move on just for a final round and we're gonna come back into our first exercise into the pec fly. So a great one for opening through the chest, getting the arms and the shoulders warmer. Got a little pace on now on the bike. Let's get the feet moving and let's start to bring the heart rate up, ready for our first round of strength training. Just another couple seconds here. Good, five. And we're almost through our warm up ready for the tough stuff to begin. All right, beautiful. Release out, and let's begin. All right guys, so come off your cardio gym. Your feet are a little bit wider than your hips, knees and toes turned out. We've got a minute here in the squats. So you might be a little bit surprised. Yes, you can get off your cardio gym and include it in your workout. We are not glued to the saddle. We can get off and use all the major muscle groups. So here we're gonna challenge the legs in a different way in the squat. Think about pushing your butt back and down, keeping your chest lifted by drawing your belly in nice and tight. Now you can use your hands to support you and you can make this range and make it a little bit smaller if you want. Make sure your knees are going out in line with your toes as you sit your hips back. But remember the deeper you work, the more work you're gonna get for your legs 
and this is a great one for shaping your thighs and your butt. So let's sit back into it. Good, you're gonna feel your heart rate come up as well as we work the big muscle groups. All right, one more, our next round, stepping lunge. We're gonna take a nice big step forwards, use your arm for balance, land your front heel, and make sure your knee stays out in line with your toes. So have a little peek down as you do this, and then think about staying nice and tall. Your chest is lifted, front heel lands, aim your back knee towards the floor. So as you fire off your front heel, you should feel your butt muscles, your glutes, and your thighs working. Good, again, your heart rate's going up, so we're not taking it easy. This is the round of work. This is part of our cardio training. So nice big long step. Use the arms for balance. Remember, if you're a little bit off your balance, you can stay in the static lunge, and you can just swap after 30 seconds. All right, one more on each side. All right, final minute here. Feet, hip distance apart. You can use the seat for support. We're coming into the calf raise. Now it's a smaller move. It's targeting smaller muscles, but I want you to brace in with your belly, lift your chest up, and then come up as high into your toes as you can, and then roll back through your feet. Lift up, roll back down. Now it's a small move, but it's great for strengthening your ankles and for working on the shape and the strength of your lower legs. So you lift nice and tall and stand back. Good. Remember, you can use the seat for support or relax, brace your belly in and try challenging your balance. Good, we've got about 10 seconds left here. Good, so lift up, come back down, roll down. So come up nice and tall. Good, nearly there. Back of the leg should be starting to feel nice and warm. And release. All right, so come back onto the cardio gym where we're gonna take the challenge upstairs into the chest. So let's go for a minute of our pec flies. So we're gonna open out and squeeze the hands in together. Now it's a minute of work in each round, so I want you to give every minute your most. Press down through the heels and keep the legs moving. So we're getting the cardio work in as well by pedaling and keeping the heart rate up. So let's squeeze and open. Squeeze and open. Palms are facing in. Now think about getting a nice strong squeeze through the chest and then open out wide and then do it again, squeeze in. So we're building strength, we're building power, and we're building endurance in the chest. Good, you've got about 10 seconds left here. Squeeze and open. Good. All right, we're gonna keep the pressure upstairs and we're gonna move around into the back of the arms. Take your arms out, palms face in, tricep extension. Now we wanna control this movement. Wrists are strong. Elbows are squeezing in. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. So pull back and then lengthen the arms and feel the pinch coming down the back. Good. So we challenge for the back of the arms, working the triceps here. Keep those legs moving so we're not letting ourselves rest. We're keeping the heart rate nice and high. Squeeze the elbows in. You've got about 30 seconds to go here. I want you to keep that movement controlled even when it starts to get tough, don't stop. Try not to slow down and keep going so we start to feel that work for the back of the arm. All right, 10 more seconds. We're nearly there. Squeeze the elbows in. Good. All right, one more. Take the hands out wide. Let's go into our chest press. So let's push out, open wide and back, and then push. So again, bring the focus to the front of the body, to the chest, squeeze and open out wide. A big powerful push forwards and then let the elbows come out wide. Go ahead, push and let it open. So we're working the big muscle groups here. When we work the big muscle groups in the chest, you're still gonna feel that heart rate climb as well as keeping those legs moving. Starting to get warm, starting to burn the calories and strength for the whole body. So push now, 20 seconds here. So elbows wide, 
push and draw in. Push and in. You are nearly there, 10 more seconds. All right, we have one final blast for the upper body. We're gonna take that pressure, we're gonna keep it on, but we're gonna shift it to the back of the arms. Listen up, grab the fabric of one handle, take it in behind your head. We're gonna lift up and come in. So we've got the tricep extension. We're just working it from a different angle to shock the muscle and to make it train a little harder. So keep your chin away from your chest, sit nice and tall, and drop the hands back behind and then push up towards the roof. So behind your head and then up. So you're getting that length as you push up to the top, feel the pinch through the back of the arm as your tricep kicks in and it starts to work. Lengthen and down. So at the top you should feel like you're almost trying to squeeze your arms in towards your ears. Push up nice and tall and then bring it in. Good, you've got about another 10 seconds left. Let's get the final burn here. Push up and squeeze in. Good, a couple more seconds. All right, listen up, take the fabric in each hand, bring it in and now release out. All right, so now we're coming straight down off the bike and we're gonna hit the deck. Take one knee down at a time. You're taking your hands wider than your chest and we're gonna hit one minute of everybody's favorite push-ups. One minute, let's go. So you wanna keep your chest between your hands and keep your belly in nice and tight. Now, whether you wanna work from your knees or from your toes, your toes are on the floor. That's gonna help you brace and protect your lower back by keeping your core muscles strong. Now, if that gets too much, you can slide your knees in closer. So you're taking some of the pressure out of the exercise, but you're still working in the upper body. If that's getting too much, and remember guys, we've got about 30 seconds to go, you can make the move even smaller. And I never like to hear anybody say, I can't do push-ups. It's all about you owning the exercise and you deciding where you wanna be with it. Remember, the further your knees go back, the more pressure you're gonna feel. If you're feeling hardcore, come on up onto your toes. We got a couple seconds left here, guys. Hold nice and strong. All right, knees down. Slide your body down, toes on the floor, fingertips by your ears. We have the back extension. Lift and lower. So as you're doing this, your toes are on the floor, you're squeezing your butt, you feel the work for your lower back, your chin is tucked in, and your eyes are looking down towards the mat. When you come down, come three quarters of the way down only, and make sure that you feel the squeeze at the top, control down. Remember, if you've got any issues with your lower back, you can place your hands down to give you the support. You can make the move smaller. I want you to try and keep your chin tucked in. Listen to my voice, follow the instructions, just lifting up, lowering down. Nice and smooth and controlled. We've only got a couple more seconds here. All right, take the hands in. Shift your weight back. This time your hands come underneath your shoulders. We have tricep push-ups. Your elbows come back towards you. Now there's lots of levels. Level number one, drop your elbows back behind you. Bring your chest forwards. So you're doing this, you're almost like a little sphinx, and then you come forwards. So you take some pressure out. If you feel strong, level two, elbows squeeze back. Bring your chest down through your hands. Now again, you can add the pressure by taking your knees further back. Keep the elbows squeezing in so we target the back of the arms. And if you feel like Superman, you're welcome to go on your toes. I might not join you for that one, but keep it in nice and tight. Push through the heels of the hands. Lock the belly in. And you're nearly there in this strength round, guys. Give me two more. Last one, beautiful, sit back. All right, so now we're gonna take on the upper body work. We're gonna target the upper back and the biceps. So let's start with a nice wide row. So palms face down and we pull the elbows back, up high and wide, in line with the shoulders, 
So we work the upper back. Now we keep the legs moving, so we keep the heart rate up, and we target the upper back. So big squeeze between your shoulder blades as you pull back, and then lengthen, hands out to shoulder height. So I want you to feel the squeeze. Think about the exercise as you do it. Feel the squeeze in the upper back, and then lengthen and release out. We've got to keep the feet going to keep the heart rate up as we target the upper body. And we're going to shift the work around, and we're going to bring the focus now into the front of the arms. So give me two more here. Give me one more. All right, now turn your palms up, bicep curl. So we bring the palms in towards the shoulders. Keep your chest lifted, your belly braced, and your eyes facing forwards. Your wrists are nice and strong, and your elbows are going to stay at about your shoulder height. Squeeze and lengthen. So we target the front of the arm. We work the biceps so we get a nice shape for the upper body. Pull in, lengthen out. Pull in and lengthen. Good. So you've got about 30 seconds to go here. It's a small muscle group, so this is going to feel tough. Do as much as you can. That nice, controlled movement. All right, 15 seconds left. Squeeze and lengthen. Oh, we are nearly there. We're going to shift the work back into the back for our next round. One more. All right, palms face in, elbows pull back. Pull back, lengthen out. So this time, the work is a little bit lower around the base of your shoulder blades. Think about getting that squeeze and lengthening out. Now you're still gonna feel your bicep working. They're still gonna feel nice and warm as we hit this round. That's what we like to call a combination set. We work the back, we work the biceps, and the muscle groups work together so we get even more from our training. <laughs> I didn't say it was gonna be easy. <laughs> so squeeze in and lengthen. Control the move, feel the pinch. Remember, mind and the movement together. So squeeze and lengthen. Hands pulled in. Squeeze in. Now this next one, there's only a little shift in the move. Give me two more here. Now, check this out. Turn your palms up the way, pull in. Now your elbows are coming a little bit higher. The hands are coming beside your rib cage. So it's coming into a bicep row. Similar move to the last one. Same muscle group still working, but we're just going to take that work and focus it now to the front of the arm. As you pull back, squeeze your biceps. Squeeze them and lengthen. So palms face up the way. Good. Keep the feet going. So we're getting our cardio in as we're shaping and sculpting our whole body. Keeping the heart rate up means we're going to burn more calories, we're going to use up more body fat, and we're going to get fitter as we work and we shape our body. All right, 15 seconds here for our back and bicep round. So lengthen and squeeze. Good, big pull back. Tuck those elbows in. Give me two more. Your last one and lengthen. All right guys, let's take three minutes now to target the shoulders. So palms out in front, facing downwards. Let's start with a minute here in our shoulder high low. So, palms face down, and then a nice big sweep, opening through the chest, so we target the front, middle, and back sections of our shoulders. Now we've got to keep the legs going as we do this, keep that heart rate lifted. So we're going to put the pressure on the shoulders, keep your arms as long as you can, your wrists strong as we do this. So the shoulders taking all the work, should be feeling nice and warm, and you've got about 15 seconds to go here. All right, big open, hands into the center. Good, so trying to keep that chest lifted and facing into the center. All right guys, we're gonna move on from here, and we're gonna take this into the wide fly. So open back. Now here you're gonna feel the back of your shoulder and your upper back take the work. Here's a little tip. If you soften your elbows, you'll feel it more in your upper back. 
If you keep your arms nice and long, you're gonna feel it more through the back of your shoulder. So it's where you wanna get the work and where you can handle the pressure. Wrists are nice and strong. Let it roll through the handles and then squeeze back. So it should get warm. It's a small muscle group that we're targeting, but it's important for the upper body. So stay tall, stay lifted, and then open and draw in. Good, 15 seconds left here before we're gonna move on for the final burn in this three minute shoulder blast. Hold on. You've got about five seconds left. All right, this is the finisher. Pull your elbows back wide, open up your palms. We're gonna rotate in, pull back in. Now you see that? It's a really small move. The elbows stay lifted. It's just a little baby move for the back of the arm, for the rotator cuff, and for the top of your shoulder. And it gets tough because it's a really small muscle. So stay strong. You've only got 30 seconds to burn and shape the shoulders. Hold on, open and in. Open and in, 20 seconds to go here. So rotate and in, 15 seconds. Ay ay ay. should be getting warm by now. Keep the legs moving, 10 seconds left and we're nearly there. Five, three, two, oh, and release. <laughs> All right, let's hit the next three minutes. So I need you now to release the handles, come off your bike, and then grab the handles back in for me. Take both handles, maybe take the fabric on one side, and then I want you to stand square in, facing towards the weight stack. We've got one minute here to hit the obliques. So all we're gonna do is turn, and draw into the center. Turn to the center. So think about keeping your hips square, twisting from your waist, and feeling that movement as well from your rib cage. So we work, arms stay strong, palms stay together, and we twist through the waist and target the side of the body and the obliques. So control the movement all the way. So control it out, and control it back in. Good. Feel the twist. And then try and keep the arms nice and long and lengthened. Good, we've got 15 seconds. Here we go, give me one more. Each side. All right, draw it into the center. Lose the handles straight away, come on down. Elbows under your shoulders, knees a little bit further back. We're gonna hit the plank position. Now your hips and shoulders are level. Dig your elbows down into the floor, squeeze your fists together and brace your belly. So pull the belly button towards your spine. This is your first option in the plank position. Remember we're gonna be here for another 25 to 35 seconds, as much as you can do. So if you want more of a challenge, you can lift up onto your toes. Squeeze your butt, brace your belly, squeeze the front of your legs and hold your body nice and still. We have got another 30 seconds to go, less than. Hold on nice and tight. If you need it, you drop your knees down, but think about bracing the belly. The plank is a great exercise for working your core muscles and the front of your body and working your shoulders. So stay nice and strong. All right, give me five more seconds. Five seconds here and we're going into our final minute. You ready? All right, break. Quick change. It's a little flip over, feet hip distance, hands in behind the ears. We draw the chin in. We've got one minute of crunches. So think about keeping your shoulders forwards, your chin tucked in, the fingertips come behind your ears, and we're not pulling on the neck, we're just resting the hands back. Every time you come up, breathe out, inhale back. Good, so we work the upper section of the abs, sliding rib cage towards the hips. Squeeze in and down. You have got 20 more seconds here. I want you to stay with me. Keep breathing, keep the shoulders slightly lifted, and keep the eyes looking down through the legs. 
All right, 10 more seconds in this exercise, and we're nearly there. 10 more, hold on. Keep it moving, keep that squeeze, keep the pressure in the upper body, keep the pressure in the upper abs. All right, your final little burst, up and hold. Hold. Don't go anywhere. Here's a little surprise for you. All I need from you to do now is to dig in, tuck the chin in, and then try and lift the upper body up for another 10 seconds. This is it. Final round, final burst, final bit of energy. Five seconds, hold everything tight there. Squeeze, wait for it, and release. Well done. All right, guys, so now we've done the hard work, let's get stretched off. Gently bring yourself around onto your knees for me. Bring your chest up, and let's take one leg out. Press the hips forwards, and press them down slightly with the chest lifted. So we're gonna release now into the front of the hip and the hip flexor. So this is from all our pedaling and all our cycling. The hip flexors take a lot of the work here. So we're gonna stretch out. All right, from here, draw your hips back. Now you're gonna release your front toes, sit your hips back and down, and start to bring your chest forwards until you feel that nice big stretch down the back of your thigh and all the way up towards your butt. Now you just stop at whichever point feels good for you. If you're quite flexible, you maybe want to drop your fingertips down. But feel that nice long stretch. Remember, take it to the point where you feel you're getting the most from the stretch. All right, gently bring yourself up. Let's swap sides. So take the knee in, other leg comes out, and we bring the hips forwards and push them down. Chest stays lifted, so we're opening through the front of the body, stretching off through the hip flexors. Good, so this has been our total body blast. We've hit all the major muscle groups. We've done a lot of strength training today, as well as getting some great cardio work in. So let's release out. Sitting yourself back, lifting up through the front toes, drive the hips back, and then just gently folding forwards. So you're gonna try and bring your chest as far forwards as you can to feel that stretch down the back of your thigh. If you can, fingertips can come down. Remember, if that doesn't feel good for you, staying up here is absolutely fine. All right, bring that knee in. So you can stay kneeling, or if it feels more comfortable, bring yourself all the way up to standing. We're just gonna push the palms up, lifting up and open from the rib cage and stretching the front of the body. So that's from all those lovely ab work, all the lovely obliques, the twists, the crunches, we lengthen out now. So big push up. All right, take the hands down and give them a roll. Take your hands now to your lower back and pull your elbows back behind you just to open out your chest. Good, squeeze them back together and feel that stretch across the front of the body. All right, hands come in front. Chin is gonna drop down to your chest. Push your elbows and your palms away and round for your upper back. Good, just releasing everything out. So let's stretch into the shoulders, just taking the arm out, drop it down, and then gently press across the body. So remember, we wanna go either above or below the elbow, but the shoulder needs to drop down away from the ear. And then we use this hand to apply a little bit of pressure to feel the stretch coming through the back of the shoulder. Good, that should feel good after all of those big wide flies and all of those shoulder high lows. All right, release. Give a little roll. So out, down, and then gently across the line of the body. So we apply the pressure to create the stretch. Good, you should feel that just along the outside edge of your shoulder. All right, perfect. Just give your arms a little roll, a little shake out. Gently bring one leg in front, and we're gonna gently ease ourselves coming back up to standing. 